Alrighty, so in today's video, the first episode of what I'm going to try and get down to seven episodes, I'm going to discuss a little bit on how I can determine a location of our new coaster for 2025. So I'm not going to explain where this is accessible, and I'm not going to explain how I stumbled upon this. Um, but I can tell you that this is not something that I've created when I put it up on the screen. This is a essentially um, a record that um, you have to go get uh, that shows all the survey points that are of significance in Ontario. And any company that does one of these, they have to file them within 24 to 48 hours. So, for example, when they just did the mountain... Um, those popped up within 24 hours, and I'm going to show you guys that, but I want to discuss that. So I'm going to show you our new reference points and why you can see kind of the direction the coaster is going to go, um, and I'll use past ones like Behemoth as an example, um, but I do want to stress that Yukon Striker has nothing on record outside of where the lift hill starts, so I thought that was really interesting. Not even the tunnel had to be marked. So it kind of shows you that it's it's a bigger project in um, kind of like a, a, a difficult area to work in. That's what I'm gathering from this information. Um, so we know that this new construction wall has gone up. We know that the survey markings stretch all the way from the mountain over to um, Extreme Sky Flyer, a little bit of front gate, and they go down this roadway all the way there as well. So the survey markings were done early. There's some newer ones getting done, which I'm going to talk about in a whole other video about what I think's going on. It has to do with King's Dominion and Wonderland and how Wonderland might be back to the drawing board. Um, but that does counter a few things. So again, I just want to stress these are just ideas I'm going to be bouncing off in a video. But here is that document. So this is not something I made. This is an actual public record. Um, so these are the datum reference points. And as you can see on the screen, you can kind of see where they were referencing or they were measuring. And you can kind of see a direction. Now, just because you see that one head out towards Kingswood does not mean it's going out there. That's just part of, you know, Wonderland might have just wanted to get that reference for a future project done at the same time. Now, these lines that I have drawn from International Showplace into the mountain kind of is where I'm suggest suggesting that the launch could go. It could go either from one side or the other side, but I believe it's coming out of that area. Um, that's the only thing I can see working. Um, and here is Behemoth's Old Land. So as you can see, when they do these references or these um, measurements, they are definitely measuring a specific plot of land and direction. So as you can see there, you can see Yukon's old one. You can see Behemoth's old ones. Um, and I've blacked out a little bit of key information on here just because I don't want to release all of that right this second. But um, I want you guys to use that um, as a reference whenever I'm discussing um, some of the, my thoughts on the 2025 project. So when I say that it's pretty obvious that the new coaster is going to head over in this mountain area, this is what I'm talking about. So um, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this map and see if any more reference points are added. Um, and in another video, I'm going to talk about why I think we're still getting reference points added. Like, why are they still going back to the CAD drawing board to figure out what they're going to build? So let's discuss it. Why are they doing such an intense job of creating these datum references around this new project? And previously, it hasn't necessarily been done. Well, the major aspect to this is they're building inside of a structure that was designed to hold itself up and maybe a few rides. So they have to gather these uh, bits of information because there's going to probably have to be some restructuring of the mountain that has to take place, like more um, infrastructure added into the mountain, more structural pieces added into the mountain, almost like gutting parts of the mountain and re-adding it. And I want to tell you, some of the rumors I am hearing about this project and 
even outside of this project, are suggesting that the mountain might actually be finally getting its complete overhaul. Not necessarily all in one year, but over the next five years, it sounds like the mountain's going to be the center of attention. Um, and that's just coming from rumors right now, so I don't want to talk about them too in depth. But I know that Thunder Run's a really big piece of that, and that's kind of been talked about even by park officials. So it'd be really interesting to see if that happens. Um, but I will say with Guardian adding bins... Um, and all the, the, the signs of construction to come in this area. Again, this is where Amusement Insiders is gathering um, their, our thoughts. I was about to third-party reference myself. Um, our thoughts on where this coaster is going to be located. So I just wanted to show you guys some really concrete evidence on why I'm saying it's going to be here. Now, I see in the comments section a lot of you going... Is it confirmed a wing? No, it's not confirmed a wing. And essentially, I would say it was confirmed a wing, but now it's starting to look like Wonderland might be back at the drawing board, which is a whole nother video. So I don't want to get into that yet, but there are signs, there are signs that Wonderland might have gone back and asked companies to start whipping up some more designs. I do know that construction is supposed to start mid-January. Um, from what I've heard through the birdies, construction was actually supposed to start um, early December, and that was pushed back to mid-January, uh, which aligns with some of these thoughts that I have, um, and maybe we'll see construction pushed back to February. Who knows? But I do know, and I'm not saying, I'm not trying to deter, it is very obvious that something is about to take place in this plot of land, and that Wonderland is about to get another star attraction so i'm really excited from what i'm gathering and hearing still it is still 2025 there is a slight chance that if wonderland can't get a concept chosen in time that we could be looking at 2026 but i don't think that's a possibility myself i just want to talk about all realms though in my video to bring it up as topic of discussion again the podcast will be starting again as soon as winterfest is over so we'll have lots to talk about but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I thought this was really neat. I know a lot of people think sometimes I just pull things out of a hat. And um, in the Yukon era of Amusement Insiders, that was definitely the case. But we've definitely evolved to have a lot more resources under our belt um, when we're talking about topics of discussion like this. So stay tuned because this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of how we gather information. And if you're a Patreon, you're going to start seeing some of that too. You're going to see these maps on Patreon very shortly, and I'm going to explain them in a lot more detail with a lot more information on Patreon. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was really cool. Hopefully you find it really cool. Comment down below what else you'd like to learn because I do have a lot to show you guys, and I need... I need help. I need creative help. Like, how do you guys want me to show you things without showing too much? How? What do you want to know? Um, obviously, I don't know what type of coaster it is. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a launch or a lift hill. I think it's pretty obvious it's going to be a launch. But you know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's video. I think it's going to be more exciting than this one. This was kind of like the boring teacher one where it's like, hey, here's some documents that we use. <laughs> anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.